As Christmas approaches, the Seduja Air and Seaports Authority SLASPA, the Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture, and other agencies are working hard to ensure everything runs smoothly during this busy period. In an upcoming virtual meeting, members of the business community will have the opportunity to express their concerns to SLASPA officials regarding the challenges they have been facing with port operations. The Chamber has, over the last year and a half, been working closely with SLASPA in um, trying to address some of the um, challenges which have um, arisen. And we saw last year the purchase of the Grey Boy and the installation of that new piece of equipment, I think, earlier this year, which has, which has been of a significant value to the business community and SLASPA. We also saw um, SLASPA um, purchase some new reach stackers that has also facilitated delivery of containers. Um, however, there, there are some issues related to storage and uh, um, the, 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 more, the more efficient release of containers. And in the spirit of collaboration and cooperation, the Chamber um, requested a meeting of SLASPA where our members could, um, first of all, share their experiences and concerns and at the same time give SLASPA an opportunity to advise and inform the business community of the major steps they have been taking and the new system they're putting in place that will alleviate um, the, some of the challenges we're seeing. A long-term solution is also needed for the storage issues on the port. Earlier this year, the end of service by a private company caused a large amount of cargo to come to port castries. This made the already limited storage space and unloading area even tighter. If not enough room to store empty and full containers, there have been delays in receiving goods, making it hard for some merchants to keep their store shelves stocked. Business people are always interested in seeing goods move. Um, if the goods are at the port, they are not on the shelves. If they are on the port, government is not collecting tax revenue. So the whole idea is for, to, to make goods move. And so the faster they move, the better for everybody. You don't accumulate storage, you don't accumulate demerge, and you, and you get your goods quicker. And so um, we are all working on that. And we, it's not just SLAS, but we're looking at, we want to work with all the agencies involved in import-export, from the Ministry of Trade, where it issues licenses, the Ministry of Agriculture, that issues phytosanitary and, um, and, and health certificates for different sets of goods, Ministry of Health, the Bureau of Standards, all of these play a critical part. The virtual meeting between SLASPA and the business community is scheduled for November 6, 2024 at 12 p.m. For the DBS News World, I am Zane Romkulis.